Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine Open World tutorial series. So today I'm going to show you how to uh, give different <gasps> hanging locations to both left hand and right hand depending on the <gasps> shape you hang on to. So here you can see both hands hanging on to the same location because that object you're hanging, the hanger is small and here you have a space so therefore <gasps> the two hands are in different locations like that <gasps> and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me all right so at the moment i have only <gasps> this one type of no so what if what should i do to have let's say a knob like this what's this mm, yeah let's take one of these and place them let's place it like this let me rotate this one right so what if i have an object like this where my character can hang on to well this does not look very nice how can I make my character hang on to an object like this? <gasps> and also, it should not hang only on one position. Well, that previous uh, shape wasn't really working. So, I think I'll use just a cube maybe right like this this is also not good enough but I'll just delete this I use this and demonstrate okay what if I get something like this yeah like this like this on the wall so in this case my hands should go further not in the same place as for <gasps> this object right and I need to create a foliage type for this shape so yeah maybe let's do something like this let's go here under BP I'll yeah I need it to keep here right under BP and what I'll create a new one climb it right here I'll create a new blueprint class and the parent is foliage type foliage type foliage type instance to static mesh what is the type of these things let me check foliage instance static mesh component all right so let's create an anime uh, a child class yeah foliage instanced static mesh component this is the parent class so from this one I'll create this FL that stands for foliage type or oh, foliage mm, what should I call this hand right 
or call it hanger something that I used to hang on to okay right now here I need a function I need function to uh, get the what get the left hand position and the right hand position that I should hang uh, onto this object so but I don't think I can directly access something like get actor location here because these are foliage instance static meshes so I have to go in a way like this get world location all right I can get okay let's see if that works so first I need a way to return that data to outside so let's do something like this I will define a new blueprint interface PPI hanger otherwise I have to cast this to this FL hanger and do stuff so I don't like that so here I get Mm -hmm. and locations and I need two outputs and the type of vector right LH and RH compile Right, just to test mm. let's see implement this PPI hanger and here I'll return just the get get component location word location like this I'll just return it here and For the foliage type of this one, I'll implement. I'll select FL hanger, and then in the CH human for this LH and RH. Instead of doing all this, I'll think I should get this and get and locations using VPI handle and use him like this let's see if that works <gasps> no it doesn't look like working let me check where is my hand is good. Right. Shall we print what we get here? This bit we need some time to read just to see whether I am getting any response. <gasps> oh, what we can zero zero zero. Let's see if it came for both cases. Yeah, <gasps> right. Why is that? okay maybe that's because uh, in order to really get the transform location I have to get instance transform right so I need to know the tra instance index and then only I should be able to get the transform so alright so I guess 
I can't do it like this. So therefore, maybe let's use this approach. I'll change this one to instead of get hand locations, I'll change this get hand offsets. And here I'll just disable that. I'll just return for the left hand minus 5 and for the right hand plus 5. So let's see here for this act. Uh, can I get a different uh, location? Maybe I'll disconnect this for now and use it same as before. Let's just print. Uh, what do we get for this hit actor location? Oh, wait a second. Yeah, what happens if I use this actor instead of this? Let's see if that's, uh, that also returns the same zero, zero output. just wanted to test all right let's see but, uh, that also gives only zero zero <gasps> oh, this time it does not <gasps> oh, wait a second did I enable the print no all right let's enable it So, so not even calling. All right. So let's just forget about that. And let's see what do we get here. So gives me zero zero. That's no use. All right. So I did some googling, and it says this hit item is the index of the static instance mesh so that means I can do this I'll change this function to get an input in the type of integer I'll call this index right and then um, here get instance transform 
like this in the world space and I'll split this just to return this one I only want to test all right right and after that uh, here wait I need to come back all right I'll delete this connect LH and the RH not with the actor I'll break it and the component and for the index I'll insert this let's test if that works Right, it is a <gasps> right. Now the next thing is this. Okay. Mm. Let me define two sockets in this knob. I'll call it LH and RH okay let's see if that works mm, here not there here I'll get socket location and the first one is LH I'll print it here we need uh, I'll just print only this so that we can see if it is working or not <gasps> okay it says something and for <gasps> yeah I think it's same I get the same value y is, y is for let's see yeah that's the value I'm getting all right so now what's next so that means I am getting that location change in the local space so I think I need to do this I like this I need to get both LH and RH and then here I'm not going to consider scaling because scaling is 1 right that's easy so this one rotate vector with this transform and let's do the same for the right hand asset this transform and mm, yeah I'll just no then I have to plus this with this one this one okay and this is for LH this is for RH I think I'll print only one value here so that I can see if I'm getting the correct values <gasps> right I'm getting the hand with the offset so let's try here 
that's also correct but small issue oh wait why can't i see the static mesh all right So this is, I guess this is rotated. All right, so that's okay for now. So I will define a new foliage type with this type of a object. So first, let me select this. And where is it? shape cube okay what else we have I'll open this mm, this is no this is not good uh, I don't need a perfect cube so I'll export this to my desktop as uh, FBX and then I re import it here. And I'll use uh, some rock texture on this all right and I'm gonna convert this to a different shape like this uh, let's go to scale oh I have only uniform scale okay right doesn't matter that's all right that's the forward of this okay mm -hmm. I'll add two sockets I'll edge here and another socket RH that's too far here I need to move them up like this okay and I'm going to use this one as a foliage type like this right and I'll select FL hanger and for the scale where is the scale Yeah, for the collision type, I have to use knob collision and scale. I have only scale X. Let's just paint one of these and see how it looks. Oh, I can't paint because of this. right that's too big let me delete this and also I don't need it to have a random yo so how can I scale this in other all right I can select this okay 
so I think I'll use well first I need to figure it out let me drop one of these here and see what are the scale values that is appropriate okay for width what is it I think point 0.1 is good and for y this is y oh no it's that should be one right like this okay then I'm guessing that a shape with for x1 no for x point one point one and y same and is it point one point one right let's see okay I guess this is the front okay let me delete this this is because this is not an actual knob that I can hang on and this is a knob that I can hang on to I'll place it here somewhere that I don't have another knob Right. Ah, right. I know. The issue is this. Mm. First, I think I should align to normal. Yeah, that's correct. And I need to consider the scale. So I'm guessing here. I need to multiply this by the scale and also I need to change this LH LH I need to interchange them right not exactly <gasps> correct I should apply the scale before rotation Let's place some more knobs here and find out if it is correct or not. <gasps> 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 
right it is it seems it's correct <gasps> PC. Yeah, uh, here instead of using this impact point, I think I should use um, the middle point of this tool, which means this one plus this one. Oh no, I'll include this in the method itself. So that I'll call it hanging point. And the type of vector. Okay, so here for the hanging point, I'll just get the instance transform location so I have to use it here like this That way I can get some even, <gasps> my character will move to the center point of that hanger even if I am <gasps> in a side, like this. <gasps> See? Okay. And I'm <gasps> going to stop at this point. So I, I have to adjust the LH and RH anchor points a little bit but <gasps> I think you guys can do it just yeah I'll just show you I don't want to do things outside the recording so yeah this is the forward and here I'll move him like this Okay, right, right you know, like that, you can adjust the locations. And I'll stop at this point for today. And if you would like to support my work, you can get the membership of my Patreon club. Link would be in the description below. Also, I have released the latest uh, source code update of my third person shooter project. And if you join the Patreon club, you can download it as well. And depending on the tier you join. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.